Hello creatives, welcome to Artist Star. My name is Beth and I am at the gallery today for the harnessing of the full moon energy series. I brought my bottle of captured full moon water and my year long full moon knotted meditation ribbon, again to harness that energy and hopefully bring something more significant, more of an epiphany, if you will, to this reading. Hopefully it'll be meaningful and helpful for you. This is a reading for the spades suit and it is the full moon in Aquarius, the meaning of which is about the opportunity to have what you need revealed to you about your most authentic, unique, and individually driven self. Of course, with Aquarius, this means within the bigger picture around your future, creative potential. So full moons are the full on reflection of the sun and the sun in astrology is the self. So this is the reflection of your most inner self. So be sure to watch your rising sign as well as your sun sign as the, the uh, rising sign reflects the inner you and the sun sign reflects the birth sign. So yeah, and aces are all about that foundation. It is the sun card and the twos are the moon card. So here we have you as the ace of spades being represented. And this is about uh, unraveling or seeking, exploring something about yourself through introspection, self-improvement, meditation, intuition and alchemy, right? It's the foundation of you, that self-expression. It is a major reset mentally, your ego and physically your health. So let's find out if there's going to be any new revelations for you, maybe an epiphany or enlightening a secret or a deeper truth, a discovery about how to newly experience oneself. It is about new beginnings, important new beginnings and situations. So we do need to watch out for that darker shadow side, which could be about substance abuse, addiction issues, endings um, from an open state to a closed state. So it could be the beginnings of a new stress. So we do want to watch out for that and to um, have that empathy around those issues if that is something that's resonating with you. Perhaps through this reading, we can figure out how to get beyond those and to heighten your awareness into something beautiful and positive that is going to help you grow into that creative being that you feel is there for you because this is also all about feelings and knowing and having that larger, bigger picture of yourself, seeing the path ahead. All right, so let's look at your spread. Um, well, and also just to talk a minute about the, the moon reflection of the twos are all about connecting with that remedy or cure through the moon energy. So yeah, this full moon is going to be happening around the 23rd or the 24th, depending on where you are and in your community. So yeah. Okay. So let's, let's get started. We first pulled the three of diamonds. It is in reverse. So this is something that you may not be able to put that finger on at this time, but just knowing that that feeling that you're getting that intuitive feeling about needing to re rediscover a, a different, truer value about something. 
and let it go in order to let something better come into its place, something of more value to you. So that's what the threes are. And the diamonds are all about your skills and talents, those concrete things that you have in your, your toolbox and knowing that uh, you have what you need, right? It's not huge. Threes are on a more uh, smaller challenge so that's good news <laughs> i'm not sure if you're up for a big challenge but if you are you know that's great for you but for most of us out there little ones little stepping stones will do just fine so okay it's about letting go of some value that you have placed on something it can be a little touch and go it can often be a little stressful but you know, it is at the end of the day, letting something go for something that you need more. So it's a bit of a disconnect. So you want to be able to think about that as well. But it is also very intuitive. This is temperance energy and Mars energy. So it's action packed and knowing exactly what you have in the inner you. So it would be advised that a meditation around whatever it is you have that inkling about is in order on this full moon so that you can write this card and know exactly what direction to take but i wouldn't worry too much about it if you don't it will eventually make itself clear always does <laughs> you can start the ball rolling let's say it that way so so next we get the Queen of Clubs. Love this card here for you because she is full of energy. This is a card that encompasses the fours, fives, and sixes. So it is about manifesting whatever it is, putting it into good hard work that's going to get you somewhere and then it's going to go into the fives where you have this restless energy of figuring out what works for you through trial and error now the trial and error is very important to know that you learn as much from what doesn't work as far as what will work for you so yeah glean those nuggets and take them with you it is going to be valuable energy for you and knowledge for you because the clubs are all about knowledge seeking learning the queen of clubs is very intuitive hard working and willing to do what it takes to get where you need to go she's self-assured she's confident and just competent. She is the substance of ideas, thoughts, and doing. Really, really lovely. This is an opportunity for you to balance that ego and soul, that restless energy with accomplishments that educate and collaborate with the universal energy as a whole. So, we're talking a big deal here, okay? The, from this little nugget that you need to write about your skills or talents, you know, just that. Giving something a new value, realizing a new value gets you there. And then what happens, right? So your third card is the Three of Clubs. Love this card too. They call this card the Big Think card <laughs> it is the strength card which is lovely because you know your inner strength beautiful here always a good thing to know so with the independent thinker card it is a test of knowledge so whatever it is you're figuring out you are going to be putting to good use you're going to be again it is that transition of what's not working anymore into something that is working. So much like the fives in this four, five, and six of the queen, sorting it through, through trial and error, the threes are more about knowing exactly, it being very clear what kind of 
thinking you need to let go of in order to let something new and more fertile come in. These are our ingrained truths. It's about expanding or acting on your perspective, your uh, philosophy or way of thinking. It's powerful and explosive energy card. And it is all about knowing it's time to let go of some way of thinking about a person, place, or thing, or letting go of an idea. It is for something better to take place. Exploration, experimentation of new ideas. It could be taking a little bit of a risk and exploring new ventures, but that's okay because you're going to connect continuously with something intellectual and yeah something you're going to learn coming together with something so it's all good and fully inspired very very nice just be careful that you don't get too stuck in your ways of not wanting to let something go you can always write it down put it in a journal and that way you have it if you need to come back around and take a look at it this neptune energy could be a bit of a delusion so you want to know for sure what you're working through those the five business here um, encompassing that so yeah it's good to keep a journal about those things in order to go back later and reassess and to know whether or not that that's going to really work for you when the full moon is over and you can take your rose colored glasses off <laughs> and see things for what they are Whoops. <laughs> Excuse me, I just hit my microphone. I have one more thing for you, um, a message through my pendulum, which I have not used yet in my series. I always have it for my personal use when I'm making a choice between two things for the reading, but I really bring it out during a reading. I don't think I have yet, but I wanted to bring my pocket roomy and my pocket Pema children. So I'm going to find out which one that source would like me to ruffle through and pull out a special message for you. So let's see which one that source would have me share with you. Is it the roomy? Could you show me a yes if it's the roomy? Or is it Pema? Could you show me a yes if it's something, some message in the book uh, from Pema? It could be both. I don't mind. I'll read them both. But I'm not really getting a yes from Pema. And it seems to be pulling towards the roomy. You can see it almost hitch a little bit. When, oh, there it is. Yeah, so it's going to be roomy, I'm pretty sure. Feels like roomy. Here's my yes. Okay, roomy it is for you. Let's see, I'm just going to close my eyes and go through the book here. And just see which one roomy message for you. Run my finger down the page. Let's see, is it this way or this way? I'm going to say it's going to be right about here. It says, where is this we and this I by the side of the beloved? You made this we and this I in order that you might play this game of courtship with yourself, that all yous and eyes might become one soul and finally drown in the beloved. All this is true. Come, you who are the creative word, be you, so far beyond description. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. How lovely is that? That's really nice message for you. Well, I hope this resonates and you get some something for something. <laughs> and I will see you next time. And until then, as always, happy creating.